Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It will be from the 7th to the 13th of March 2022. So I hope you're well. Remember Capricorn, these readings won't be for everybody, so just take what resonates for you as always. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Capricorns, please? Message for Capricorn, thank you. We have the word, the word professional assistance. It's number seven, people. With that Capricorn, we have number five, event, travel. Maybe some journey. And we have number six, consciousness, deserving. Okay, so we'll see what that's about message for our lovely Capricorns please for the week and remember Capricorn these readings won't be for everybody so just take what resonates for you as always okay what do we have for our lovely Capricorns thank you card has come out we've got family here so it's either about the family relationships or something that affects the family Let's see what we have, Capricorn. What do we have for you for the week? Message for Capricorn Angel Spirits Guides for the week. Starting with the overarching energy. Thank you. Message for Capricorn. Thank you. We've got the lovers. Major Arcana. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. This is a relationship or a choice that affects, a, this is either a choice about a relationship here or something that affects a relationship, some significant choice. It feels more relationship orientated. With this, we have the moon in the challenge position. Quite a high emotional energy as well. Six of cups. Somebody who you have history with. Memories with, nostalgia with, a past with even. It's a soul connection, the Six of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. The Seven of Swords here. We have the Two of Wands. The Hermit, bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles, which can be you Capricorn, King of Pentacles can be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male or female energy, somebody who likes stability, security, safety, all of those things in all aspects, so including relationships. And something that can be built on long-term security and stability. I feel in this energy for some of you, something's gone on here. There's a, a kind of feeling here of... of it could be somebody not wanting a relationship to end this is either someone's feeling things but not really saying things not being open or expressing it right now or it could well be that there has been some deception here because these can be very deceptive energies in the challenge position now there's levels to deception remember that so you know not being above board um, doing something, you know, behind the scenes, not telling you about things, not consulting you about things, you know, it might well be to do with some kind of betrayal as well. This can be stealing, betrayal, lies, deceit. But there's levels to this. And this is the energy of someone's uncertain. Could be because of that behavioural pattern. 
Let's see what we have. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the moon and the seven of swords, please. Angel spirits guides. Because the message, there's a message with the hope of bringing change here. The beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Offered by this Knight of Cups. It might well be for some of you also that you're really getting some strong intuitive indication of how you really want to move forward in what choice you do want to make in this in this because I do feel that the Knight of Cups is offering you something so this person male or female energy might be offering an apology a desire to make amends a desire to heal a desire to give the relationship another go it does feel like love is being offered here it might well be for some of you for for this kind of like new start. I mean, the, the Page of Cups can also be a consideration of children too. But there's also a strong intuitive energy in this reading, Capricorn. Your intuition is quite strong in how you do want to move forward, what choice you do want to make. The lovers, a very powerful union, but it's at that kind of point where there's a choice to be made something's brought you to a crossroads and it could be some kind of behavioral pattern here deception lies doing something covert clarify the moon and the seven of swords please the fool yeah wanting to liberate from it all start something new You know, this is the energy also of somebody doing something foolish. Maybe somebody's done something foolish here. And that's what they're saying. I was stupid. I was a fool. I've been, I've been foolish. I've been, uh, I don't know whether it's naive, to be honest. Because there's an energy here of knowing what you're doing. This, this feels like someone may have acted rashly or on a whim, done something in a carefree way and they feel foolish. There's a choice here. The spirit is telling you, you have a choice. Again, another crossroads energy, the two of wands. You have a choice, but you I feel that you're the one who's making the choice because this is somebody who has the world in their hands. So the choice is in your, the ball is in your court. The world is in your hands in how the future is going to unfold for both of you. And this is the energy of do I stay or go? Clearly, also taking into account the history that you have with this person, the nostalgia and the good times too. So this is the energy of, in this decision, you will take into account the history that you have with each other as well. But also if this has happened before, it might well be you take that into account too. In how you move forward. You know, the Six of Cups is also the energy here, Capricorn, of you coming back to you, what brings you a happy equilibrium, you know? I feel Spirit is advising you, whatever choice this is, do it from the point of where you see you being happy, where you see being, where you see yourself being fulfilled here. Because we have the nine of wands. Somebody's tired. Somebody's fed up. They don't know whether to persevere with this, or just throw in the towel. It's an energy if it's always darkest before the dawn. So it does indicate here, Capricorn that things will get better and it will get better when you, I feel, come to a decision in terms of how you move forward. We have the hermit shining the light, finding answers from within, maybe to do with some kind of decision being at a crossroads. This is the energy of really evaluating the experience that you have together and weighing it up against what this behavior is this deceptive behavior, this let down behavior, because there is a feeling here in your consciousness, whatever's going on, you didn't deserve it. That's why you're at this crossroads now. And this is going forward. Will they treat me as I deserve? Again, value the king of pentacles, high value, high self-esteem, 
high self-esteem, high self-worth, knowing your own value, knowing what you're deserving, knowing your standards and nothing less than that. And also seeing if this is something that has a concrete way of, of moving forward in the long term. Can we get stability and security back and trust back in the long term, I'm feeling? Because I feel in this energy, somebody is not sure whether they can trust somebody anymore. I think for a lot of you, you're going to go and stay with family. This can also be to do with holidays, taking a break together maybe for some of you to see if you can work things out. But for some of you, it might well be a solution to begin with is I need to just step away from this. I just need to remove myself for a bit. Again, hermit energy, go into my quiet space to think about this, whether I want to just throw in the towel and walk away or, or give this another chance. We have professional assistance as well. It might well be for some of you the conclusion that you come to is seeking professional assistance in terms of whether this is salvageable, retrievable, whether you can get back on track, whether you can reestablish the trust in this person. I feel the trust has been broken here. There's an energy here, Capricorn. I feel spirit is certainly telling you, fam maybe, I think maybe family is there for you. And maybe to go travel and see family, just to have a bit of a break from it all. Again, for some of you, it might well be holidays, taking a break together, coming to some kind of conclusion, spending some time working this out. Um, because professional assistance has come up, it might well be for some of you, some kind of impartial entity may well be the solution that you come to, the agreement that you come to. There's a kind of flavor through the reading. Whatever this deceptive behavior is, it's happened before. Now, that might not be for all of you, but for some of you, it might well be it has happened before. So whatever this foolish energy is, if it has happened before, this person isn't doing it from a naive point of view or an innocent point of view or spur of the moment point of view. It feels somebody is at that point where, they're, where they've got a significant choice to make and I feel it's your choice. And the way forward, I feel... First, I feel family is, is an influential thing here. The second thing is maybe some kind of impartial advice. Now, that could also be a legal thing as well, you know, talking to a solicitor. Whichever decision that you come to, the hermit generally removes himself from a situation, goes to his quiet space, and in that quiet space reflects finds the wisdom that he's been searching for, the enlightenment. So spirit is certainly bringing you the enlightenment when you need it the most by shining the lamp. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun. So Capricorn, the sun almost kind of like will say that everything's going to be okay. You will come through this, the other side of this situation and step into the light. We're going from this very dark energy with a hermit. It's not dark in the sense of negative. It's dark in terms of finding illumination in the dark. Um, and when you're in the dark about how to move forward. And you're being given the illumination here with the sun. Finding the answer. This could be to do with finding the answer. Finding the illumination. This is the solution. This is the way we're going forward. It can be that kind of energy. Whatever you're being illuminated on, it feels it's going to bring a positive change in the future. And that's what I'm seeing here, where you liberate from the negative situation that you've been through and really find a, co a proper cohesive path on moving to better times, you know, overcoming the challenges that you face and really being clear on how you're moving forward to resolve something in a positive way. This is happiness, joy, love, laughter, light, warmth, after maybe some kind of challenging period here. Okay, final message for Capricorn. We have take control of the situation. We know you can do this. Number three, I feel spirits giving you some advice here. 
two of wands is taking control really and we have your intuition is strong we are reaching out to help number seven and that's what I was saying at the beginning you know deep down intuitively what you want to do here I feel that there's a real strong kind of guidance spiritual guidance here this week that is giving you the illumination on bringing the right path to new a newfound happiness and joy but the sun is a very illuminating energy as well where all becomes clear and it links with finding a new day you know embracing a new day new beginning new joy okay Capricorn that's what I have for you I hope you enjoyed the reading or at least found it useful or helpful if you did please do like share and subscribe and I will see you next time thank you